guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make this large peyote stitch flower beaded earrings. They're really easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. If you want to support me you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations don't forget that when you change colors you could have so many different colorful variations of one and the same pattern your work could be changed beyond recognition and I have a tutorial for colorful earrings and a bracelet with the same pattern but they are made with 11 seed beads and are really different in color. Okay, down there in description you will find the full list of materials, links for Amazon where you could buy supplies from, links to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching, now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are three colors of HO beads. Here I use ear wires and jump rings. This is small filament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice, but for this one I prefer to use monofilament because I want my earrings to stay firm. Okay, and this is size 10 beading need. These are pliers and of course I need also scissors. Okay, and now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'm going to start by picking up 8 silver beads. Okay, and I have my 8 here. And now I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop going twice with my tail thread through the loop I've made and I pull like that and I will make one more knot and pull again. Now this is what I have. Now, in my next step, I will go here through some beads. Okay. And what I want to take is a red one, a black one, and a red one. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And I will go back in circle through the same bead that I'm exiting out of. Okay. Now I have this, you see I have a loop here. And then I will go in my next bead. And here I will take only two beads, one red and one black. And I'm going through this red and this silver, okay? And I pull. And this is called right angle weaves, four beads in a cross, but they are made in a circle and connected and share some beads. Okay, now I need a red and a black. And I will go through this red one and through the silver, and if you can, go also through the next silver. Okay, then again a red and a black and repeat this and to be faster go also through the next silver. Okay, and I'm going to continue this a few more times. Okay guys, and I'm here up to my last step. And what I'm going to do here, okay, I will pull and tighten up my work a little bit. Okay, and what I'm going to do here is go through this red bead like that. 
Here is time where I add red and black, but I already have this red here from the first loop of beads that I did. That is why I will take only a black one at my last step and I will connect those silver in the center with these two red beads. Okay. Now guys, I have this. Okay, and what I do in my next step is exit in my next row which consists of black beads and here I'm going to take two silvers and go through the following black and I'm going to take two more silvers, go through the black, two silvers again and I'm going to do this until the end of this row. Okay, and I just added my last two silver beads from this row and what I want to do is exit through my next two silvers and add a black one here next to this black one. It will stick out a little bit. Then again a black next to my black and it's sticking out. Showing you one more time. And now I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay, and I'm adding here my last bead from this row. And what I want to do is exit in my next row. And here in this row I will be adding three beads. A silver, a red and a silver one, okay? And as I'm exiting from this black bead, what I want to do is go in my next black one, like that. Then again, a silver, a red and a silver go here in my following black. A silver, a red and a silver, okay, go here and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and I'm here, I'm adding my last three beads from this row and now uh, it's time to go to my next black and add a black one. By the way, you could expand your work the same way as much as you want and uh, maybe you won't make flowers here like I'm doing, uh, flowers, but uh, you will see another shape or make another colorful combination, but this is two, three, and now I will add black beads and in my next uh, row I will fill it up with four beads between my blacks. Okay, I will show you this now. Okay, adding blacks everywhere. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay, I added my blacks and now guys, between my blacks, I need four beads, okay? And they will be a black again, a silver, two silvers and a black, okay? Now this is what I have and with this one, I'm finishing my flower here, okay? You see, 
my first flower is ready. Then again, what I take is a black, two silvers and a black. Go in my next black one and finish my second flower. A black, two silvers and a black. Okay, go here. And then black to silvers black, black to silvers black, and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and now I'm here where I'm adding my last four beads from this row, and it is all the same. If you forgot how I did it, rewind this video and check how I did the first three steps and repeat them until the end of this row. And now what I want to do is exit out of my next black one and here I want to take a red, a black and a red. This is what I have and I'm going here through all the, ne the four next beads. Okay, now I have this and in my next step I need a red, a black and a red. And again, go through these four beads. Okay. A red, a black, and a red. And go here. I will show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end of this row. Okay, I have three beads red black red and go through the following four okay continue adding more and more beads around your circle and i'll do this off camera and i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last three beads red black red okay now i want to go here through my first under my first three beads to make them stay to the outside edge and to fix this last flower okay and you could go by the way reinforcing your work as many times as you can if you feel somewhere it's loose or it's uh, these beads are not sticking up enough you could go through the those bottom three beads and make them go out or you could go here through those beads okay do whatever you feel it's right uh, for your work to look better and now i'm going to make a knot and cut my thread okay and in order to do this i'm making here a loop and i'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull. And you could do this knot several more times. And now I'm here and I want to cut my thread. And now it's time to add my clasp, okay, my ear wire, sorry. Okay, and now in order to do this, I need a jump ring and my ear wire. Okay, and let's say I will attach it here to this black bead. And in order to do this, I'm going to take my pliers and my jump ring and I will open up my jump ring. Sometimes you will need a pair of pliers to do this, but now I'm doing it with one pliers only one pliers okay now I'm here and I open this jump ring up and I will put here my ear wire and I'm going to squeeze back okay okay 
And now guys, my earring is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button if you still haven't to see more and more beautiful videos absolutely free, upcoming twice a week. And in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. You will also find links for Amazon where you could buy supplies from. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye from me.